Leading up to 1996, I was healthy, fit, enthusiastic physiotherapist, pretty invincible. Uh, but then at that stage, when I was 52, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. The shock was pretty intense and uh, I opted to have surgery because I wanted to save my life. But the side effects were pretty horrendous. I wasn't coping well with being incontinent or impotent or suffering depression, very serious psychosocial legacies. I got to a stage where I wasn't getting anywhere at all, so I said, there's got to be some man out there who's been through this before. I needed to talk to a male or anyone else somewhere, but I couldn't find one anywhere. No one put their hand up, and that's when my little inner self, my deep inner self, said, we can get out of this, we have to change things. So I put an ad in the paper, and on that, day, on that day and time, 70 men and their partners turned up. And from that, we formed the Prostate Cancer Foundation of Australia in 1998. That then led to me writing a book about it. It was called Conquering Incontinence, but the book covered all the legacies, all the side effects of prostate cancer. It was the first book written on prostate cancer and on incontinence in Australia at the time. It's still used in every one of the 170 support groups around Australia. But that then also started me thinking, why don't men think more about their health? Why didn't we? Why, why couldn't I find another man to talk to? I had spoken to no other man at all about his experiences. There was none available. The, the obvious truth was that we're invincible. We're not allowed to be seen to be invulnerable. We're not allowed to, to show any weaknesses at all. Are we lost in a tower of invincibility, of manhood? How do we get out of this? Clearly, we needed to, to change who we were. We need, we need to think about why this is so. We have to learn how to connect, how to cry, how to talk to our doctors, how to talk to anyone that can help us and, uh, and, not, and not put up with anything. So what I was wanting to do was to change the culture of men's health. In the process, I want to remove the mantle of machoism.